Hey guys, welcome back. It's Nurse Karma, and today we're going to be talking about ABGs. I know you guys must be like, oh, what is that? No! Well, um, they're basically arterial blood gases. And the whole purpose is to measure the oxygen levels, carbon dioxide levels, and pH in the bloodstream. And we're going to make it super simple today. Alright guys, so in order to master ABGs, it's important to memorize the normal lab ranges. So it's important to memorize these four components, okay? pH 7.35 to 7.45. PO2, which is 80 to 100, PCO2, which is 35 to 45, and bicarb, which is HCO3, and the level is 22 to 27. So the first step is to look at your pH. And if it is below 7.35, then this is considered acidosis. If your level is above 7.45, then this is considered alkalosis. Okay, so now let's see if you understand this concept. If the ABG result says that the pH is 7.25, is this acidic or alkalosis? Acidic, you're right. Okay, and now if the level is 7.55, is this considered acidic or alkalosis? Alkalosis, correct. And what if the pH is 7.37? Let's see if you guys could get this one. This is normal. Yay, you guys got it. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna analyze respiratory imbalances. In respiratory acidosis, you're gonna notice that the pH is always gonna be low and your CO2 will be high. In respiratory alkalosis, your pH is gonna be high and your CO2 is going to be low. Do you guys see the inverse relationship? Now, let's talk about metabolic imbalances. In metabolic acidosis, you will notice that the pH will be low and the bicarb will be low as well. And in metabolic alkalosis, you'll notice that the pH is high and the bicarb is high as well. Now that we've mastered the basics of ABGs, we're gonna be mixing it up a little bit, making it more complicated, and we're gonna be talking about different ABGs, compensated, partially compensated, and uncompensated. With compensated ABGs, you're gonna notice that the pH is always within range. And the CO2 and HCO3 are always out of range, and they're both either increased or decreased. With partially compensated ABGs, you're gonna notice that the pH, the CO2, and the HCO3 are all not gonna be within range, all three of them. Uncompensated ABGs are the ones we spoke about previously in the video. This is where the pH is out of range and you'll have either the CO2 or the HCO3 out of range, but never both. All right guys, so now it's time for us to put this into application. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys some examples and we'll walk through them and you could test your knowledge on ABGs. All right guys, so for this next part of the video, I want you to go ahead and pause the video before I reveal the answer so you guys could go ahead and quiz yourselves. So in example one, we see here that the pH is 7.23. And we're looking to see if it's within normal range or out of range. In this case, we see that it is decreased, meaning that it's acidosis. The next step is to look at the PCO2 and the HCO3 and determine if those are within normal range or out of range. And in this case, we see that the one that's out of range is, you got it, the PCO2. It's elevated, meaning respiratory acidosis. We see here that 
the inverse relationship, the pH is decreased and the PCO2 is increased. Okay, so the next step is to determine whether this is a compensated ABG, uncompensated, or partially compensated. Okay, so now we know that this is uncompensated respiratory acidosis. Okay, so looking at the next example, we see here that the pH is 7.36, the PCO2 is 59, and the HCO3 is 28. The pH is within normal range, the PCO2 is elevated, and the HCO3 is elevated as well. So now I want you guys to go ahead and pause the video so you could go ahead and quiz yourselves and then I'll give you the answer at the end. Correct. The answer is compensated respiratory acidosis. So when we look for compensation, we said that the pH will always be within normal limits and both the PCO2 and HCO3 will be out of range. When we look at the pH 7.36, it's closer to being acidotic. So what we have to do now is look at the CO2 and HCO3 and determine which one is most out of range to determine whether this is a respiratory or metabolic issue. In this case, the CO2 is most out of range, making it a respiratory imbalance. All right, so now that we're ABG masters, we're gonna make things a little bit more complicated. In this case, we see that the pH is 7.22, and that's decreased. The PCO2 is 33, and that's decreased. And the HCO3 is 17, and that's decreased. So what is this? Correct, partially compensated metabolic acidosis. And the way we could determine that it's partially compensated is because all three pH, CO2, and HCO3 are out of range. The reason this is metabolic acidosis is because the first thing we do is look at the pH. It's acidotic. Then when we analyze the PCO2 and HCO3, we see that they're both out of range and decreased, but we're going to look for the one that is most out of range. And in this case, it's the HCO3, making it partially compensated metabolic acidosis. As promised, here's the table. This is your cheat sheet. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the only thing you guys might have some trouble with is what is UPC? U stands for uncompensated, P stands for partially compensated, and C stands for compensated. I hope this video helps you guys out and you're able to go and ace your exams and now you're going to be little ABG masters. You're going to be able to go to the hospital and identify exactly what's going on with your patient. I also wanted to let you guys know that I will be filming another video speaking about the clinical manifestations of these ABG irregularities. Signing out, hippie love.